You're a gambler, Monsieur Morosco. Used to be, years ago. Did you know Madame Van Dugan? I did. Dream of a woman sent from heaven. Too good for this world. <laughs> Three weeks ago at the casino, you attempted to sit on her head. She was cold and without a hat. Come with me. Do you know these two? No. No? No, I don't. You are absolutely certain? Ah, yes. Yes. <laughs> Come to think of it, I do know them. I, I met them on the train. I almost bought their dog. <laughs> Do you know whose dog that was? Yours? Madame Van Dugan's. Another coincidence? I guess. Oh. Do you know this, too? No. No? No, I don't. They were found with Madame Van Dugan's body in a suitcase. Well, that's illogical. Why would anybody want to crawl inside a suitcase with a corpse? <laughs> so you don't know them? No, I don't know them. Interesting. Thank you. That man claims just the opposite. He says he was with you at the time the crime was committed. Well, I'm afraid that is impossible. How do you know? I haven't told you what time the crime was committed. Point well taken. What time was the crime committed? Last night, between 1 and 1.30. Between 1 and 1.30? Between 1 and 1.30, between 1 and 1.30. Ah! It just so happens at that hour I was in my hotel making love to my wife. I know this for a fact because her screams of ecstasy woke up the entire neighborhood. <laughs> Somebody actually shouted out, it's between 1 and 1.30 in the morning. <laughs> Give the poor woman a break. <laughs> and so I did. I did. You wish to stand by that story? Oh, yes. It's, it's, it's a good story. <laughs> 